What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Unforeseen Incidents. Just like I said, we are back in the diner with lovely Rhonda. i got to say, I love her voice and the way she talks. But we're here for another reason. So these paintings are by an artist called Cardero. He must know something about where that symbol comes from. And we need to figure out what the deal is and potentially talking... Um, let's see. What do you know about those three paintings? The cryptic triptych? <laughs> you know, I think these three were part of a big transition for Cardero. He always used to say his art came from inside him, from his imagination. But when he came to the final painting, he started using real subjects. From life, he called it. I keep teasing, asking when he'll paint my picture. Huh. Do you know the names of the paintings? Truth be told, the names never made a lot of sense to me. I mean, I remember that the one with the sun is called Don. Naturally, it's my favorite. I think the others are called <laughs> Salvation and Misery. But which is which? Search me. Maybe the true artists want to leave you wondering. Um... Okay. I was just about to leave. See you later, honey. Thanks, babe. Okay, so the one with the sun is Don. And then there's Salvation... And so these paintings are by he must know so these he must know he must know hmm so the only other person that's around is back at the shack we can talk to her and see if she knows anything about the other two paintings and then i have a feeling we'll have to go back to the farm talk to the old man he might know something even though he did say that he didn't know anything uh, but we'll just have to kind of wait and see. Hi, Colonel. Stop call. Uh, Do you know anything about Cardero's triptych? His what? The three paintings in the diner. He calls them Salvation, Misery, and Dawn. Ah, uh, yes. The forest was the only one that appealed to me. I know the place. It's a clearing in Greystone Woods. The trees are so tall and thin. Makes you feel like a kid again. Real peaceful. Do you remember what the forest painting was called? I always thought it ought to be named Salvation, being so peaceful and all. But he named one of the other two Salvation. Artists, huh? Okay. So it's not the, uh, the forest one is See not Goodbye. the other one. Now we go here. Um, yeah, back to the farm. I don't think this guy's going to tell us anything. I honestly don't think he's going to tell us anything. But the one in the forest is not salvation. So that's the one uh, that's not the forest. <laughs> I can't remember what the hell the other one was. There was one that looked like someone was running away from something. But And what do you got to say, old man? Yep. Do you know anything? Is what? How well do you think I know the man? <laughs> three paintings in the diner. Oh, those eyesores. I don't know why Rhonda don't take him down. I was there when he brought in that big yeller son. Must have been the second or third he done. It'd look better than a hobo's campfire, if you ask me. I told him as much. He just eyeballed me like I was crazy. Oh, nice. You mentioned one of Cardero's paintings? Yeah, the sun was the second or third one he done. But he should have quit before he got started. If you ask me, an artist has no business painting in this day and age. No siree. Am I the only one who remembers Marcel Duchamp? Uh, okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, head back to the diner. Let's see maybe if something else pops up. Because we should know what all three are since she told us what the forest one was. Right, come on over here and fashionable perfect now okay so the sun one is dawn and then we have this one that's not salvation that would be salvation and this is something else so these paintings are by he must know something so these paintings, he must know something about what... Okay, let's talk to Rhonda. Maybe she has new info. Hi, Hi honey. Um, Remind no. me what you... Well, but like I... T by the time he... Can you remember what... Not for sure. All right, gotta I was go. Just about to... See you later. 
And off we go. Back up here, maybe we're going to be able to do something now. <sighs> I'm not sure. The sun one was the second or third one, which would probably have something to do with there will be a new dawn after salvation of, you know, the forest was the before, probably the first. Sup, bro? Hello again. Hello. Um, What's the deal with those three paintings again? See the three paintings. Talk to people. Okay, and then you'll... Artists steal... Just great. Okay. I think I understand your triptych. Then tell Cardero about salvation. Right. Um. Salvation depicts a violent struggle. I think it's you fighting for your life, trying to escape something. Hmm. What about misery? Um. Depicts a forest. Misery depicts a forest. Makes me think of a lonely child lost in the woods. Hmm. Now, Don. Uh, Dawn depicts a sunrise. The brightness kind of makes you forget how dark the other paintings are. What about the sequence I completed them? Uh, the first painting would have been... Okay, Dawn was the second or third. So the first painting was Salvation. The first painting was Salvation. The second was Misery. The second painting was Misery. And then there was and Dawn. The final painting was Dawn. You made an effort. Good. Huh. Okay. I think. Uh. Salvation. I think. Hmm. Misery to make. Hmm. Dawn to fix it. The bright. What about. Okay. So. Let's see. I think it would the be. The first painting. The second painting. You would think Dawn would be the third. Final. No. No. Huh. Damn I it. Think Salvation, I think. Mm. Misery to make. Mm. Dawn to fix the bro. Okay, so we know Dawn has to be second now. That's for sure. So the first pers first painting the was first Salvation. Painting. The then second Dawn. Painting was Dawn. And, and if it's not that, then we know exactly what it is. Mm -hmm. And what does the sequence tell you? Well, I feel like you're digging back into your past. Like, something you thought to get away from. Is that it? Did I get it right? There is no right and wrong in art. You found your own meaning. That means more. You are ready to see the masterpiece. Woohoo! Yes. Um, Will you show me the masterpiece now? I have to find out what that symbol means. The masterpiece is hidden in a remote cave. Cadero will lead you there. You nice. are ready to see it now. Cadero just doesn't know if he is ready to see it again. I got cupcakes. Oh, okay, he's going to take me anyway, so we don't have to worry about it. Nice. Love it. Okay. What the fudge? Well, at least we brought the colonel with us. So, is this the place? How are we going to find a masterpiece with all this junk lying around? Um, I think the junk is the masterpiece. Oh, didn't Cardero tell you it was going to explain everything? The ape binds to the apex. Well, that's real good, but... The salamander eats its brother. You okay, buddy? Take out and shoot the three-legged mare. The worker at carries four times its weight. The eagle, the eagle, the eagle, the eagle, the eagle! Whoa. Cardero! <laughs> uh, that might have something to do with the statues, to be do? honest with you. Is it some kind of reaction to this place? I, I had a bad allergic reaction when I was a kid, and I nearly died. We need a doctor! Calm down, Pendle. <laughs> he does this sometimes. Not usually this bad, though. What, what, what was he saying? The eagle? The, the salamander? He can get stuck in a bad memory, is all. I'll stay with him and keep him safe. He's shivering cold. Can you make a fire? Uh, yeah. A Let's fire? ask how. How? <sighs> Town folk. <laughs> can I take some of the firewood from your cabin? No way. I give you the key, you could waltz off with that virus canister. Come on. I, I thought you wanted firewood. Oh, 
Jesus, this kid getting dumber. You're in a forest, jackass. Find some. <laughs> take this book and use your brain. Hey, thanks for the book. All right, so now we're going to be able to sort through making a fire. We need tinder, fuel wood, making a fire, that on there. Use your nice scrape giant here and fungus until you have a pile of all this around your fire put with stones to contain the fire. Never light a fire or barbecue inside a tent or a motorhome. Poke weed, poke root, inkberry, mm -hmm. Virginia snake root, red root amaranth, uh -huh. and that's all of it. Wunderbar. So now we got to go back up to these places, grab the little bit of wood, and find out what herb we got to get. Uh, or actually, the herb's probably the last part because she'll be like, you have to make some sort of medicinal thingy thing with the stuff. These small branches might help me get the campfire going. Woohoo! I recognize this plant. It's in Jervis's book. Yeah. Okay. You gotta get some Could stones. This be flint? Okay, flint. And. Over here. Let's see what we can get. I want to try to get a lot done in this episode, so I'm going to try to move as fast as I can so that we don't have to worry about uh, screwing this things up. looks perfect for a campfire. Woohoo. Ugh, more stones. <laughs> and the herbs. Let's see. What's this? Okay, so that's done. Uh, the other place was the farm. And if you're like, Chills, what the hell are you going back to the farm for? You've got everything you need. No, no, we don't. There is over here. More herbs, baby. I recognize this plant. It's in Jervis's book. Okay. And then these. Let's see. What's this? Alright. I think we have everything we need. Um, I wonder how they stop the grain going bad. Must be airtight or pressurized. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, let's go back. Cave. I don't know if, because we don't have a knife, but she might have one that we could use. Uh, that's the only thing I can think of that we don't actually have. There's a fire pit. I guess this is where Cardera would light a fire while he was making whatever this is. Okay. So. Uh, oh, we have our knife. I don't think that needs. <laughs> All right. Nope, 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 nope. Not that. Uh. This on. I don't want to cut that. No. Okay. Yes. I don't think I can do that. No. Oh, Deadwood. Okay. Oops. Oh, I need to, uh... No, I don't think that... No? Hmm, that ain't right. No? Okay. We'll do this. Hmm, that doesn't make... There's nothing I can't do. Okay. Come on, quit dicking around. I don't want to. Damn it. Okay. Uh, use the next scrape to dry and tear from the tinder fungus until you have fiery powder or red brown flakes. This will take spark more than readily, more readily than tinder. Hang on. Let's. I added some kindling. I put some wood in the pit. Huh. I wonder if I'm doing this right. I better try. Yes. Okay. So, let's go back here. Get the knife. Go. I don't want to cut. No. Okay. You have to cut one of the pieces of wood. I don't want to cut. All right. I don't want to. All right, we gotta look at this book. Uh, using the interior, the interior of tinder fungus. Uh, 
I can't make those. I probably. Hmm. I'd rather not. I don't think the file can help me here. Ah, uh, my... I don't think the file... All right, everybody, we're just looking through the book here, and there is a, um, a tinder fungus. There you go. From what I saw in Jervis's book, I think that's tinder fungus. Okay, so now it says uh, dry leaves, tinder fungus, also shocker grows on birch trees and is recognizable as burnt charcoal exterior. Collect twigs. There are two good reasons not to cut down living trees. If the weather is fine, you will find dry branches on the forest floor. However, in what weather are best? Dead tree is the best source of firewood. Look in the trunk, no leaves, peeling, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you will need setting your spark. Okay, so we go. Where the hell are the mushrooms? I got me because. No. I hope there's nothing. Where the hell is the, uh... I don't really think I can... Okay, that's why. Okay, let's get some tinder fungus. There we go. Now we got it. So now... Wait a minute. Can we, uh... Use the multi-tool on this? Oh, for crying out loud. The book said to scrape the tinder fungus. Okay, right. now I have some tinder flakes. Some tender flakes for making the greatest pies ever. Okay, let's see. Okay, so we put that in there. We don't put any of that. We do... Okie dokie. And then we do... Do we need the tinder plug? Hmm. And then that. Okay. And then I can't do that. Why the hell not? The multi tool. Yeah, I know. I don't want to cut. Yeah. Um. I don't want to cut that. Oh, for crying out loud! I don't think those things play nice together. I didn't do that. I don't think I can do that. Well, why the hell not? Do you have a freaking Hi, knife? Colonel. Stop. Uh. Are you sure Cardero is okay? Standard procedure is just to keep him warm and how's that fire coming? I'm working on it. See you later. Goodbye. Okay, let's read this freaking book again. God damn it, man. Um. Tinder. Dry leaves, grass, bark, or even milkweed fluff will serve as kindling. Dry kindling can be very hard to find after a downpour. This is out to the of the situation. Uh, relying on holy grow tinder, chakra mushroom, uh, grows on uh, mycotal reverse kindling, dry twigs, blah, blah, blah. Two good reasons to cut down living trees. So then gather all the elements. Use your knife to scrape the dry interior of the tinder fungus until you have a pile of red-brown flakes. It will take a spark more than red more readily than tinder. Strike the flint and steel fastwards. Watch for the fungus turning black and smoldering. When the tinder fungus is smoldering, add it to the rest of your tinder and blow gently until the bundle catches light with the tinder burning edge or kindling. Oh, for Christ's sakes. In a pyramid shape. Oh my god, okay. Let's I put the tin I added I put in I put some paw. 
I better try again. Okay, so first thing we gotta do, this. Okay. Now, can we do? No, I don't think. Why the hell not, man? All right, everybody, we're back here, and um, okay. we've got, I think, everything this time that we need. We have the flint finally. Okay, let's try this. So yes. I get that stuff smoldering, and then what I do is I get my tinder fungus. Okay. All right. Looking good. It's burning. There we go. And then we can get our kindling. Okay. Carefully now. Yes. The small sticks are starting to burn. Right on. Now get our grabber huge wood. Okay, firewood. And shove it's it in there. Now. Yes. Fire. <laughs> uh, Fire so safety. Right now. Congratulations. You're as manly as a 10-year-old boy scout. Hey, me. Personal best. We'll make a backwoodsman of you yet. Cardero? Talk to me, dude. Cordero. Come on. Wake up already. Give him space. He's warm now. He'll recover in his own time. Last time he took a turn, he didn't say nothing for two days. Oh, God. I can't wait days. He knows what that symbol means. It might explain everything. Well, what are you going to do? Hmm. That microwave has readied its last meal. It must have taken months just to collect all this junk. Yeah, so what the hell am I doing here? Uh, what's... Cartero sure brought a lot of junk here. So much for not littering in the woods. Looks like cushions from an old car seat. Did Cartero used to sleep out here? No, I was thinking maybe you would lay down on them. Tinder fungus. A kettle. I'm sure that's not a crucial part of Cardero's artistic whatchamacallit. Alright, so what if we did, uh... With the barrel, get some water. Okay, let's get some water. Alright, now what the hell do we do with the water? I'd rather not. Are you sure? I can't. I can't do that. Yeah, I didn't think so. I don't think those things. I don't think I can do. Huh. We're pretty much at a standstill here. Like, why the hell do we have a kettle of water what what is that thing i was hoping cardero's apparently not yeah i'm totally freaking lost okay do the only thing i can think of Let's boil that water Oh, shit. Okay, I see what we gotta do now. Uh, sharp smell than tapering serrate leaves. Small purple flowers as domestic cousins. Wild mint, sweet savory. Wild mint tea is fine remedy for a stomach ache. Wild oil can relieve the symptoms of colds and flus. Um, eaten or crushed, rubbed into the skin to repel mosquitoes. Dandelion cloth flour uh, from flower to root. The root itself is dried and roasted and surprised with potable, co potable coffee. It's the demotic French name is Pissin Pissinwood Hip. Hence, dandelion can have a powerful diuretic. The seasoned forage will avoid the root and the seeds entirely, choosing a young plant and boy in the leaves. Well, for his poke salad. Uh, well, I'd, I would after an encounter with a rattlesnake. Um. Cakes and breads. Uh, stimulating yellow brown tea with high caffeine con content. And then. Oh, 
Okay, so the Hoon Holly is the bright green three-leaf one. I think that's what we need. Sort of looks right. Mm -hmm. This will be. T okay. What have you got there? It's Dahoon Holly tea. Yep. Dahoon Holly, eh? Good thinking. That might be just the thing to give Cardero a boost. That's right. He looks like he's flat. Cardero, are you okay? This place, this place brings it all back. Ah, Cardero, thought I broke your brain. The eagle <laughs> is rising. Um. What's so important about this place? I captured it in art. The room of indoctrination. The words. The noise. This represents the place where they tortured me. Tried to make me think like them. Alright. Can you remember what that symbol means now? It is the eagle. Their seal. It means death for us all. Oh. Here, I was hoping it meant crawlers for us all. <laughs> yes. They did this. The people in the woods, the ones who attacked your home, the death cult. My mother joined them when I was just a boy. They put their mark on me. Now, I need rest. Um. No, I need to know more about this cult. You will know more, but it's too late. I escaped them once. This time, no one will. I'll Whoa. be damned if I'm going to let a bunch of crackpots stroll around killing everyone. Then let me take that canister to Professor McBride. You know I'm not one of them. I don't have that ugly tattoo. Plus, I disabled that signal. True. You're okay, Pendril. Come down to the cabin. I got something for you. Woohoo! We're going to make out. Nice. And I'm going to call the episode right here, as long as there's no cutscene. And if there is, I'll call it after it. I'm sorry I didn't trust you sooner. Here, take the canister. Maybe I also should have shown you this earlier. A phone number? I sort of lied when I said I couldn't track down your girlfriend. That's her number. Hello, well. I have to call her. And she's not my girlfriend. Okay, whatever. You can use my phone. Thanks, Colonel. I mean, Ranger Jervis. Hmm. <laughs> Hello. Hello, well? Harper? Is that you? We've been so worried. Where are you? I'm out in the boondocks, uh, in the Greystone Woods Ranger Shack. Greystone? How did you get there? Uh, we'll find out next episode. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, you already know what to do. And I will see you all next time. Take care.